Hi, uh, I'm Charlie at Anarchy Acres, and I wanted to show you what's going on with my developmental um, plow for my miniature donkeys. Um, the red that you see here is a six and a half inch plow from a 1950s, 1960s era David Clark walk behind tractor. Um, you originally powered with a one and a half horsepower engine. People would uh, plow up their gardens, disc and harrow and all that stuff with these uh, low power walk behind tractors that you get from Sears Roebuck. So I cut the beam a little bit short and I added um, a land wheel and a furrow wheel and basically created a sulky plow without a seat. And last year I plowed very well just using um, these, these have a raised lower mechanism where you just would, and this, what this does is it, it's actually changing the angle of attack of the plowshare. And then when I got to the end of a row, I would just uh, lift it out of the furrow and then maneuver the team over to the next furrow. Um, over the winter, untested, I've added a, a mechanism here that's basically going to change the angle of the, the plowshare like radically all at once. And I'm hoping that it will just climb out of the ground at the end of the furrow, I can drive the team around to the next furrow and drop it in. So this, um, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's basically, it's two positions. So now, right now we're in the up position and the team can pull it around um, and it'll, it will dive back into the ground. And then when I, when I got the team in the new furrow, um, just set it like this and uh, it'll drive back in the ground. So I'm hoping this will just make the whole system a little bit handier. Um, I used this with uh, with two donkeys, worked really nicely. I wanted to add more power. With three donkeys, I was having trouble um, keeping it in the furrow if the right donkey was also in the furrow. Um, I actually plowed a lot with the with the with the two right donkeys straddling the furrow, which is kind of awkward. So one was on plowed ground, one was on unplowed, or two were on unplowed ground, and no one was in the furrow. So um, I added a chain. And um, I made a, a custom evener that's going to kind of cheat the, the right donkey and make him work harder. He's, my, he's bigger anyway. I got a big one and two smaller ones. So I'm going to put my big guy in the furrow, move the, move the center of effort over a little bit, make him work a little bit harder. And I'm hoping that with the chain to give me a little bit of angle where the, drop, the thing will drop back so that I can now keep this in the furrow and my right donkey in the furrow and this thing will, won't jump out. So that's just my idea. Um, I'll see how that well that works, but um, this is it's showing me promise. We plowed really nicely, uh, six and a half inch furrow. I could plow, you know, three, four, five thousand square feet um, in in like 15, 20 minutes. It works really nicely. It's like a it's like a donkey powered rotor tiller. So um, I'll post more as I learn about this and this new mechanism. But I just wanted to show you right now because you got another two months or a month and a half of um, welding before you have to pull in the fuel anyway. So maybe you have some of your own ideas to uh, work. Thanks a lot.